Welcome back after the break. President of the Institute of Certified Management Accountants of Sri Lanka, Professor Lakshman Watavala states that Sri Lanka needs a serious solution to progress from secondary to tertiary education sector in order to make Sri Lanka an education hub with technology and demand-driven university courses to meet the job market's requirements. CMA President made these observations at an international conference held in Colombo last week. Institute of Certified Management Accountants of Sri Lanka together with the Institute of Chartered Professional Managers of Sri Lanka organized the International Higher Education Conference named Strategies to Bridge the Gap in Higher Education Intake South and Southeast Asian Experiences last week. The conference addressed the issues of over 100,000 students who are dropped out even after passing the GCE advanced level examinations and eligible to enter universities. The conference highlighted that only 25,000 to 30,000 get places in government universities in Sri Lanka. It further noted that as a result, during the last 10 years, more than 1 million youth have lost opportunities to pursue higher education in Sri Lanka. There are 165,000 students passing the DC advanced level exam in Sri Lanka. But however, only 25 to 30,000 are eligible to enter government universities. I think all of you should know that the education in Sri Lanka is free from primary to secondary to tertiary and also maybe the postgraduate qualifications. So this is something that has been enjoyed by many. But unfortunately, although free education has been given, at one time we were very happy that we had a very high literacy rate but unfortunately, today, the world has changed, the digital revolution has taken place, and literacy has been overtaken. So that's why we need the higher education, the skill development to take place, and the utmost priority be given to this. So therefore, Sri Lanka needs an urgent solution to meet this gap in progressing from secondary to tertiary education sector, a serious concern for any developing country, and to find urgent solutions to make Sri Lanka an education hub with technology and demand-driven university courses to meet the job market requirements. Professor Lakshman Watwala went on to state that if Sri Lanka needs to transform from factor-driven to efficiency-driven, the employees should be competent in technology, foreign languages and in touch with the global trends. The complexity of competing in the global economy requires not only advanced skills, but also a workforce that can adjust to shift in demand. These are appearing in some of the World Bank reports. And uh, if you see that uh, out of the 142 countries that they have evaluated, in the Global Competitiveness Index, Sri Lanka compares favorably with the rest of South Asia but trails behind East Asian countries. If the country is to transition from being factor-driven to being efficiency-driven, its workers need the ability to operate the latest equipment of technology, computer knowledge and fluency in foreign languages to communicate with international clients. So, this is a very important thing and I was just analyzing some of the problems, maybe if you take the last 10 years, we have not been able to provide higher education opportunities, maybe at least 100,000 per annum, which comes to 1 million, which I think is a very uh, great number, considering our trying to be an education hub and also to be skill-driven, attract foreign direct investment, which many are talking, because maybe in the 70s, we were able to give the cheap labor, but that is not there. But today we need the skills and the higher education to come in.